Well, hello, my jazzy friends. I hope you're doing well, I hope you're staying safe, and it's lovely to see you as always. In today's video, we're going to be diving into my thoughts and feelings on the new Paranormal Stuff Pack that just dropped on the 26th. I want to say in advance, the beautiful thing about opinions and enjoyment and humans in general is that everything is subjective and very individual. What I might love, you might hate, and vice versa. I'm just giving my personal opinions on how I found the pack, and you could feel completely differently, and that's totally fine. So I've kind of given this a couple of test drives at this point. I played first off on stream because I was really excited to just dive into it and kind of share that experience with people. And I also have played it once off stream for this footage to kind of show you in this video. But I will dive into that a little bit more in a second, like the kind of gameplay aspect. But we're going to go in some kind of cohesive order. So let's start off by talking about the creator sim items. So I have to say, I really love the overall style of this pack. It's, I have to give major props, like it is very, very cohesive. I feel like it really comes together really well. Like it, it, it looks like a collection. It is a full collection. Things go well together. Like you can tell that they're meant to go together. The style and the direction and the vision is very, very clear, very well thought out. And I think well executed too. The clothes are really nice in my opinion. I think the prints are obviously quite jazzy, like quite funky looking. So if you typically make sims that are like a little bit plainer looking, a little bit less bold, they probably won't be too much to your liking. But for me, I really adore funky stuff, like colourful stuff and pattern stuff. I like boho looking items and I feel like this pack kind of lends itself to that style. So I like it a lot. There is this hair that has kind of a very high forehead slash hairline thing going on. Uh, with one of the female hairs, which is a little bit questionable, but generally it's not too bad. I like with the other hair that was in there just then, they had like baby hairs and stuff, like there's been an effort. The mullet is funky and done quite well, like I like that the hairstyles have been carried through to children as well, which is something that they seem to be doing just more often in general right now. Yeah, I don't know, the items are cute, the outfits are cute, I like them a lot. Like I say, they look cohesive, like it's very clearly a collection of things. And I like that a lot. There's a jewelry option as well. It's like a little necklace and some shoes, which are super cute. I will absolutely be using the creator sim stuff like over and over and over again until the day I die. <laughs> I like it a lot. As far as build mode stuff goes, for the, the playthroughs that I did on stream and for this video, I actually played in the house that Dr. Ashley made, which is just stunning. I love it a lot. Um, I do have a build coming up this week of stuff that I slung in from this pack. So I, I'll kind of go into a little bit more depth when that drops. But um, but they are gorgeous. Like they're hard to fault. They're really, really beautiful. The curtains are jazzy. The swatches are cool. Like they're bright, they're bold, like quite funky, but they are beautiful. We get the cute little planty stuff to like plonk on tables and stuff. And there's good decorations. Uh, the chairs and the sofas are like super aesthetically pleasing. Um, I love the table, I love the lights and the hanging plant. I adore the cow plant in the little jar thing. And the fact that you can rename it is just fun. Like, I like that. The rugs are kind of cool. I don't know. Yeah, I just think all the build items are like very distinctive, very bold, very beautiful. And the swatches are really great. Like, I don't know. I really can't fault the build stuff. I like it. I'm going to use it so often. It's ridiculous. They've done very, very well with the build stuff. Moving on to the gameplay stuff, which I feel like is what most people are most interested in when it comes to this pack. I could be wrong, but here's my ramble. It was tense. Like coming into this, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be so scared. I'm so tense. We moved into this haunted house. Uh, on stream, I put on spooky and quake zone, which was dramatic. But for this playthrough that you're seeing right here, I put on cursed island spirits and spooky. Because um, I just wanted my sim to be as tense and uncomfortable as humanly possible. Uh, which I definitely think I achieved to an extent. Uh, for a couple of days, my sims didn't really do anything except go about their normal lives. I think maybe... Uh, I think maybe at the end of the first day, they got the pop-up that they were living in a haunted house. And it was like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm ready for it or whatever. Um, a little bit later, we had one of like the little happy looking green ghosts pop up. And my sim spoke to it, like attempt to communicate. And then it was just happy and it went on its merry little way. Then I probably went another day without much happening. So my sim started doing like sensing volatility and communicating with the dead. Gaidri kind of popped up. We spoke to him a little and he answered some questions and stuff. And then off he popped. Uh, we had a little blue ghosty who swung by and he just kind of left when he was ready. 
the lights flickering and the banging on the door, like that really freaked me out. I was like, oh my God, stuff's about to happen. You know what I mean? Like get all tense. This is going to be so good. It's going to be so scary. We're just getting started. And like, I was so apprehensive. Um, We started getting like little green ghost puddles on the floor and like the eerie hands and the tendrils and stuff. I did not perform a ceremony because I wanted as much spooky activity as possible. Um, And I left all the things on the floor because again, like I was trying to create as much I don't know, scary stuff and issues and whatever, ghost activity for my sims as possible. But uh, nothing much happened. We finally got like the angry looking red ghosts and they just looked mad, but they didn't really do anything. I invoked the dead. I did ghastly rituals, everything really. Um, But it was, it was very calm. Very, very, very calm. I even spoke to one of those red ghosts when it was like, oh, better stay out of its way. It looks really mad or whatever. And still nothing happened. Um, So it was quite underwhelming. I feel like the scariest part of this was like the flickering lights and the banging on the door. And I understand, like I'm, I, I understand a lot of scary stuff is mostly about suspense, but I did expect something more to kind of happen. Some of the new little interactions are really cool. I want to say that, like I do like that. I like that it's like, go take a panicked poop or like hide under the covers and stuff. That was cool. Like that was really cool. Um, but, but overall it was pretty calm. I want to talk a little bit about heroic mode, which I went into when I was like, oh, maybe this is just the really tame stuff. If I turn on heroic mode, like everything's going to kick off. Like it's all going to go wild. It's going to be a nightmare. My sim's going to die. I don't even know. So I turned on heroic mode, hoping for something a bit more eventful to happen. Um, and I also disabled Gaidri, Gidri, whatever his name is, the ghosty boy. But he, he didn't leave for quite some time. Like he was kind of hanging around, but he did eventually go. But yeah, I got some more creepy marks on the floor. So my sim tripped over a lot. Like that that happened. She, she kept on falling over on the floor because I'd left them everywhere. There were so many because I was hoping that the more we had, the more spooky things would be. But again, yeah, like not an awful lot really happened. I know some people have said that they've had their sims get set on fire. And so I don't know. I don't really know. But for me personally, like it was just so calm. Like. Yes, there were ghosts, but they kind of just hung around and left when they were ready to leave. I don't know. They they just, just nothing happened. (laughs) Nothing really happened. Um, As far as the career goes, it is an active career, which is cool. Um, It comes under the little freelancer section. So if you want to access it, once you reach medium level five, you go on to freelancer and choose paranormal investigator. And there is an easy, medium and hard mode. Uh, it's much like the other active careers and how they work, obviously, like not as far as content, but just the the general premise of them. But essentially, yeah, it's kind of like clear the weird symbols, clear the eerie hands and the tendrils and stuff, do a little seance circle, get paid, go home. Um, it was cool. Like, I like it as a little career. But again, I didn't really get anything spooky happen there either. So here's my wrap up. Here's my, <laughs> here's my wrap up. I'm going to just give you my final thoughts because I feel like I could go in circles all day. So here's the deal. I wish we'd had a new trait or aspiration that came with this pack because I feel like there's cool stuff that they could have done with that. Like the aspiration could have been like, I don't know, just like the aspiration to commune with the dead or the aspiration to become a paranormal investigator. I don't know, whatever. And the new traits could have been like cowardly or brave. I think that would be cool and interesting. Um, I also really wish we'd had a new death type with this pack. It feels appropriate that someone could be like scared to death or I'm not sure, just just something like that would have been cool. I wish the haunting had been considerably more drastic, maybe more stuff breaking. Like I think I had a broken toilet maybe like once or twice, but more stuff breaking. We could have even had a thing where like Sim's sanity could have gone down with like the more events happening, their sanity could have got lower and lower. If it reached a certain point, they could have been possessed. I don't know. I think that would have been really, really cool. (laughs) We could have had like a psychic or a medium career with it as well, not just a medium skill. I really would have liked more spontaneous spooky stuff to happen as well in the middle of the night. Like people are sleeping and doors start like opening by themselves or like if Sims leave out dirty plates, then one could like levitate and then smash. I don't know. Maybe I want too much, but like I just have a lot of ideas I think would have been really, really cool. I also think with the, you know, like the creepy, the creepy little doll thing. Um, it would have been super cool, like, to have it, like, get up and start walking down the hallway in the middle of the night and, like, start laughing or something. Like, just, there's just so many th- things they could have done with this. Um, and I know I'm probably giving this a lot more thought than I should, but that's just how it goes. 
And I know it's just a stuff pack. Like, I do know that. But I would have been happy to pay more for it if it was more fleshed out and, like, if they'd just taken it a little bit further. I don't know. Those are the things that I would have really adored. I know I'm asking a lot. Like I say, maybe my expectations were too high. But I do love it. Like, I don't want this to seem like, oh, well, it was just shit. <laughs> like, I really enjoyed it. I think the creative some stuff is beautiful. The build stuff is beautiful. Like I say, I will be getting a lot of use out of them. And I do think the pack is a lot of fun, but I think it's more kind of charming and cute than maybe paranormal. I think if it had, ha had the name Happy Haunts, like people expected, then I would have been... This is kind of what I would have expected from it. But paranormal to me suggested something different, and maybe that's a me problem. But those are my thoughts anyway. Yeah, I enjoyed it, and I would enjoy dipping my toes into here, you know, this pack again here and there in the future. But anyway, that's that's what I got to say. Like I say, totally just my opinions and how I feel about it and the kind of things that I would have really loved. Um, but I do like it a lot. I would suggest picking it up if you haven't already because it is fun. Like, it is a lot of fun. But yeah, please let me know your opinions down in the comments because I would love to hear, like, your experiences or if any spookier things did happen to you, then I would like to know about them because maybe I missed out. I do not know. But anyway... Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I post pretty frequently at the moment. And, uh, and I'll see you next time.